It began at Walcott Street, when all the seats were full, which they never are and never have been since, and the only emptiness was next to you, so I was obliged to fill it. You got on some stop before me, daily. I couldn't picture you anywhere else except the fifth row of the fair saver, I tried imagining. You came in from white space, sat on a carpet-covered chair that's bolts rattle a little looser each journey, plugged yourself into your phone, and Eric Clapton came up on the screen. Banner Down Road, then Chuck Berry. Northy Arms, then Ray Childs. London Road, and on Billy Holiday, I couldn't resist. You had the blues in your ears, and I couldn't resist. I plugged myself into my iPod, made my screen visible to you, and we listened together alone to the wailing blues of electric guitar, to the rasping harmonica. And the blue notes filled the bus like water, sloshed against the windows, poured out to every bus stop, saturated the lady with the blue rinse, the change fumbler with a cloak of bluebells the teenager sipping Blue Moon. I was thirsty for more, for the self-indulgence of feeling blue. Leafy Lane, in silence, you tilted your screen. Introduced me to people I'd later download, reminded me of sounds I'd lost and had to rummage deep into my storage to unbury. You painted my mood for six months. Furs Hill. I only ever knew you by your hands, by the pressure of your thigh against mine, by the click of your shoes sticking and unsticking from the lino floor on every beat. I wore more perfume than I've ever done because I liked the idea of lingering on you when you exited my field of vision. They were bass notes of rose and lavender, which I know aren't strictly blue, but I've since rewritten my dictionary. Newlands Road, it's my stop. And you weren't there the next day, or the next, 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 and it's all different buses now and different moods. You've returned to your white space, and I've since learned that it's possible to ache for a color. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, it is Sophie Dumont. Please put your hands together. Sophie, thank you so much. I'm just going to move this to one side and have a little chat. Um, Sophie, I've had the pleasure over the last few days of kind of delving into who you are and what you do. Oh, God, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and you've got this incredible ability, it seems, through lots of different art forms, correct me if I'm wrong, um, to, to make the mundane, to make normal life really poignant and therefore bring a kind of mindfulness to your listener or looker on with your sculptures. Is that is that what you're intending to do? Yes, yeah, as you said, kind of enlightening the mundane um, is what I seek to do. I love, um, well, I kind of just don't get inspired by glorious landscapes or poetic things as such. I love kind of, yeah, the stickiness of lino floor and a yeah, chewing I love gum that line. under I really, seat. I really <laughs> saw that line. I was like, yeah. So just the reality of, of, of everything we go through day to day is what I love um, making familiar, but also bringing it to a new life, yeah. And I know that you've also been involved, I think, in collaboration, but writing um, theatre productions, but with a difference. So outdoor theatre productions, would you call it immersive theatre? Yes, yeah, pervasive theatre, immersive theatre. Um, these words are kind of going around and... and um, changing all the time. But with Riptide Theatre um, in Leeds, I've created three immersive um, theatre productions now, and they have all been based outside theatre buildings. So uh, You Are Here, um, for example, was through city centre of Leeds, and you'd listen to my voice, kind of like a sat-nav sort of vibe, but poetry you're listening to, and I'm directing you through the streets, and we drop you off in different points in a hotel room with an actor um, or a library setting. So just, yeah, again, it's enlightening the mundane. Um, yeah, and I think and I've, those... I've read some amazing reviews from that, like people really saying oh. that they came out really transformed and empowered and really figured out what mindfulness was, because I guess your words 
bring I think there was is there one point where you say to people imagine you're looking down on yourself yes absolutely from above and so it just really brings that mindfulness which we're all seeking to have right now when we're completely bombarded with so many things and yeah people were just having really positive experiences from it yes yeah we kind of bill it as a Truman show so you're at the center of this performance but it's actually a nice experience yeah <laughs> so I guess you, um, it, yeah the world around you just turns into a theater performance which is what it is it's all just bonkers stuff but you suddenly Absolutely. made aware of it anyone on the street could be part of the performance and so you bump into someone and then they say sorry Sophie and you suddenly realize they knew your name um so it's little planting seeds like that which which make the performance and very I know special. you've got another one of these coming up called Sonder yes. Um, can you tell us what Sonda means? Because I just love this word. Yes. Oh my gosh, you caught me off the cuff now. I can't remember. I, mean, I can no, probably it's... possibly help you, yeah, but it do. also <laughs> wouldn't be the dictionary <laughs> correct thing. But it's something to do with realising that the people next to you have got their own incredible individual perspective and world going on that's yes. just as vivid as you, yours, but Absolutely. totally different. Absolutely, yeah. The realisation that, that when you look at someone, they're not just, you know, two-dimensional, that they have exactly what you have and the complexities of life. So... And it makes the world a stage yeah. if once you've kind of clocked into that. Um, so Sonda will be coming out, fingers crossed, um, by the end of the year or spring um, next year. And it will be another through city centre. Hopefully we can um, get it so that you listen to it in any city and it comes to life, not just Leeds. Um, and this is yeah. such a brilliant art form because actually, because with everything that's been going on this year with the pandemic and everything, and we're not sure what's going to be happening, something like that, that kind of theatre can carry on, right? Absolutely, yeah. And, and it's even more intimate in a way. Um, kind of like the screens in my poem there. I love that intimacy without any speech. And that's what we've had to go through with COVID. Um, the kind of grieving this intimacy that we've yeah. lost with touch, but actually we've gained in other ways. Um, yeah. And that's what immersive theatre through apps and through technology can bring yeah so where can people find out about all these incredible things that you are doing so my website um www.sophiedumont at uh not at hotmail that's my email <laughs> dot, <laughs> but you can write UK. to her there do. <laughs> um dot co.uk or yeah so through my website you can find everything but my instagram is my main one that i use and that's at sophie underscore dumont amazing yeah. well thank you so much for coming in it's been an Thank utter you pleasure me. having you